right, welcome to Right On with John Crane. I am here in the shop. I hope you guys are doing great there. It's good to see you. And today marks a, a pretty cool day, I think. I am starting the project here on the Champion Blower and Forge number 200 uh, post drill press here. Now, uh, this is an oldie. This is probably turn of the century, 1900 there. And uh, this is an old hand crank drill press. Now it's kind of hard to see here because it's all in pieces. And I probably got this, I don't know, six, seven years ago, I started to take it apart. And uh, now I'm just getting back to it and I'm gonna clean this up and I'm gonna put it together. And uh, a company contacted me a little while back by the name of Super Clean. And uh, they were, they make a, a degreaser here. And they asked me, they're like, hey, would you like to use some of our product here? And uh, maybe you got some projects, you could put it in one of your videos. I was like, right on, you know, send me some of your degreaser there. That's something I can use in the shop. And uh, I thought that was great. And so I got this Champion Blower and Forge project here. And I thought this was a good one to use this uh, super clean degreaser on because this grease on here, who knows, you know, this could be a hundred years plus of grease on this here. And this is really caked on some heavy duty grease. So I thought this is a nice little trial here for the super clean degreaser. And uh, they sent me a whole bunch of stuff here. You know, I got the degreaser here. What do I got? Uh, a super clean foaming degreaser. And uh, they got a wheel cleaner here. A kind of a spray can and then they also sent me some floor absorbent stuff here so i'm going to go over these different products try them out put them to the test here use them around the shop and uh yeah i'm going to start first here on this champion blower and forge i'm going to bring this outside uh spray this down and uh get busy all right right on all right now this is going to be a multi-part video this video here today it's just kind of to clean up this drill press uh, show using the, the super clean here and giving that the test here to get this grease off. So I just wanted to show you here what we're working with here and looking at this uh, 100 plus year old grease on this old Champion blower and forge here. See there, here's the number 200 here. And in the next video, I'm gonna give some history, some rundown on this drill press, but today we're just doing the degreasing. So here, here is the test here for the super clean. Look at this stuff, right? This is some caked on grease and grime and dirt and all kinds of stuff here. So, right, we're gonna spray this down. And I think the one I'm gonna use right here is this, right? They're saying it's all uh, biodegradable here. So that's great. I like that. Nice for the uh, environment there. So let's uh, head outside. Give all these parts here a nice spray down. All right, John Crane, super clean here, coming to you in my outdoor degreasing laboratory. And I got the two bottles of super clean here. I got the regular and I got the foaming degreaser here. And we're gonna put this to the test on this 120 year old caked on grease. And uh, we're gonna see if super clean can keep it clean. All right. <laughs> Inside the shop here in the heat, got the wood stove going, 
and starting to dry all these parts out. And uh, here is the results here of the super clean. And I feel like it did a, a great job here. I've used a lot of degreaser and uh, this got off a ton of the grease. Now there is some grease caked into some of these spots here that is just like uh, thick peanut butter there, some candle wax, that type of thing. And I have to keep disassembling all these parts here and everything's gonna get uh, wire wheeled. But first it's gonna get a bath in Evaporust after this. And degreasing these parts is a great thing to do before you put this stuff into Evaporust because Anything that has grease on top of it, the evaporest is not going to be able to work. So this is a great first step. Uh, I always degrease degrease the parts there before it goes into the evaporest. And I think uh, the super clean here did a great job. Now I got a couple other tasks here in the shop. I want to go over to the bridge port there and uh, use the degreaser on the side of the bridge port and see how that works. All right, I'm over here at the Bridgeport Mill, and this is a machine here where it is always greasy here, and grease is running down, and I'm going to try using some of this super clean right down here on the bottom of the mill. Right in this area here, there's always grease running down the knee here of the mill, and uh, there's usually a pool of oil down here that just runs down you know, cutting fluids, whey oil, all that is coming down here to the bottom of the machine. I got these uh, oil absorbent pads. Those are great. I got that tip from uh, Avon there, and uh, that was a great tip to put those pads down there. That soaks up a lot of the oil, but there's still some down there, right? And uh, super clean, they sent me this uh, floor absorbent stuff right here, and uh, that's great. Sometimes I use the cat litter, well, I remember I was changing the oil in a friend's car, boy, when I was young, about 18 or so. And I'm like, ah, I'll, I'll change your oil. And uh, I overfilled the oil, I think, by a quart in the car. And I think I had started the car and I was running it. And then I checked the oil. I was like, ah, boy, I put like a quart too much in here. So I was just like, oh, I'll pull the uh, the oil plug here and I'll just let a quart, you know, come out and I'll put the plug back in real quick right and uh, I pulled the plug on the oil and that oil pan was so hot and the oil was so hot I couldn't get that plug back in and uh, all the oil just ran out all over the driveway and uh, I was running out getting the cat litter there and yeah thanks a lot thanks for helping me change the oil right so anyway this stuff uh, seems great I'm gonna sprinkle some of this down here at first into this oil and then I'm gonna spray some degreaser here. So this is supposed to just absorb up the oil, right? You let this soak up here for a few minutes and then you sweep it up type of thing. And then I'm using the uh, super clean here, the aerosol here, and I'm just gonna spray down uh, the side here. I see we got like a foaming action here. Spray down a little over here. All right, I let that sit a little bit and now I'm gonna give it a little scrub down with some Scotch-Brite. Look at that. That actually, huh, that's working really good. Huh, oh, that's, see this is where this product shines right here and doing this kind of stuff. Keep it clean, keep it clean with super clean. I don't know, I don't know what they're, what their jingle is, right? <laughs> I'll make up the jingle. John Crane's keeping it clean with super clean. Super clean in stores today. Look at that. That, that looks great. Look at how that's coming out. All right, I am impressed with that. That looks awesome. All right, let's see how this uh, oil absorbent here worked. And you're just supposed to be able to, I see, mix this around a little bit. All 
All right, now that worked out great. I tell you, there's nothing wrong with a clean shop, right? Absorbing that oil. And this is always great stuff to have around. Exactly, you're putting it under the car. You know, your buddy comes over with the truck and parks in your driveway. And next thing you know, there's a puddle there. You know, you dump a little of this on and you're good to go there. And the degreaser here. I think this is where this product shines right here. Cleaning up the bridge port here. I could see using it, you know, on the engine of the car, that type of thing. So I think it's just awesome. All right, I am stoked on how all this turned out here. You know, I am underway here now on the uh, Champion Blower and Forge project and uh, super clean there, right? I just think it's awesome. You know, somebody wants to send me a product to use and test out and uh, it turns out to be a degreaser like this that works great and I'm able to use it. And uh, that's why I say this isn't a paid uh, advertisement or anything like that. They just contacted me, said, hey, you want to try out some product? I'm like, right on, send it along, you know? So I got the, this all cleaned up. I got the bridge port looking great. The shop's looking clean and uh, I'm stoked there. A shout out to Todd and Jessica there over at Super Clean. Thanks a lot for sending out some product. I appreciate it. So now all this is going to go into a bath of Evaporust and soak overnight and then uh, I can start wire brushing this stuff and getting this thing looking sparkly clean here. So I'll see you there in another episode of Right On With John Crane here where I start uh, polishing this all up and reassembling this Champion Blower uh, drill press here. So, all right, I hope you guys are great and I'll see you all soon. All right, right on.